What is going on everyone? So this week's video is a little bit of an update in terms of a change in my process. And this is, might be something that some of you may have noticed if you watched my fall videos uh, from Zion where the first day of the trip I was using the Arca Swiss camera. I was carrying that around in that red and black backpack that I've used for about 10 years now. But then for the rest of the trip I was using this camera. And I first started using this camera about a year ago. And the first time I used it was on my spring backpacking trip. And that was the original reason why I purchased this camera was for a lightweight and precise camera that could handle my long lens, my wide lens, and basically do everything I needed. And it was on that, that first day of my trip, uh, my fall trip this past fall, where I actually forgot my trekking poles on that trip. And the first day when I was using the Arca Swiss, the area I went to, I, there were some hills involved. I could have very much benefited from having the trekking poles. And so that day wiped me out a bit. And so the following day, I figured I'm just gonna use this camera. And since I had only used it a little bit prior to that, I wasn't quite completely comfortable using it as my primary camera, but that changed pretty quickly. And when I initially bought this camera, I did not expect it to fit inside this backpack right here. So you'll be seeing me using this backpack on the, uh, the Death Valley videos, but also you saw this a lot in the uh, Zion videos. But I originally purchased this backpack for use on non-photography backpacking trips. I did not think I'd be able to fit eight by 10 gear into this bag, but I found out uh, based on my uh, backpacking trip a year ago that I could fit everything I need in here and have a very lightweight kit while still carrying the eight by 10. Well, when I was in Zion in the fall, I decided to just grab that backpack from z -Packs and my camera kit and just give it a try. And it worked really, really well. I became very comfortable with this camera very quickly. And there's a significant weight savings over the Arca Swiss. Now, I absolutely love the Arca Swiss. It's a very precise camera. It has an amazing ground glass. It's a very flexible setup but it has a little bit of an awkward shape. And so as a result, I had to find a specific padded case to drop it into, and then I'd put that inside that red and black backpack. But that case had some weight to it, and that red and black backpack itself weighs a little, little over eight pounds versus this one from z Packs, which is now a discontinued model, but they have some similar ones now. This is about a 60 liter pack or so. This is about a pound and a half. So a pound and a half versus eight pounds just for the backpack. And then when you consider the case, it really does start to add up. And I don't know off the top of my head the weight difference between this and the Arca Swiss, though it is, it's a pretty noticeable weight difference. But when you factor in the weight of all the other stuff to carry the Arca Swiss, it definitely does add up. And I think it was somewhere in the range of another 20 pounds or something, it, it's very notable. Also with this camera, um, I do prefer to keep the lenses nice and lightweight, so I'm less likely to bring the heavy lenses. Um, but this camera from uh, Chamonix, uh, there's a lot of carbon fiber involved, um, lots of wood. It folds down to a really nice compact shape. And I have just really have grown to love this camera and it has now earned a spot as my primary camera. And some of you might be asking, what happened to the Arca Swiss? Well, I can't justify having both this and the Arca Swiss. There's just, there's no way I can do that. Um, it's not as though I make a ton of money doing this. And so I actually did sell the Arca Swiss. In a perfect world, I would have kept it. I would have held on to it. But at the same time, I can't justify having both this and that camera. Um, so now this is my primary camera. My backup camera is the Intrepid. Um, and so both of them being something that folds down pretty small and light, so it makes it pretty easy to, to bring along on the trip. So that is a rather significant change in my process because now I can carry this around on my back and not necessarily have a specific subject in mind or a specific location in mind. I can just go out scouting with the camera and 
have it with me for if I happen to find something along the way, which is something that was a little bit more difficult to do with the Arca Swiss. Now, the only downside really to this backpack is that it's not very well suited to attach my larger tripods to the side of. Um, so I use primarily a three series Gitzo systematic tripod. It's just a little bit awkward attached to the bag there. So I just carry the tripod, which is no big deal for a lot of stuff I do. And if I'm going on a backpacking trip, I'm using a smaller tripod anyways, um, a one series Gitzo. That one I can hook to the bag just fine. So if any of you are watching this and you happen to own an Arca Swiss camera, you know how fantastic those cameras are. You're very lucky to have one. So this is nothing at all against Arca Swiss. Fantastic cameras, fantastic products. But for me personally, I really needed something a little lighter, a little bit smaller. And I think this is gonna allow me to produce um, some work that I'm, that I'm quite satisfied with and stuff that I may not have been able to shoot with the Arca Swiss. Uh, I will do a complete review on this camera in a little bit. I've used this for about a year now, and I definitely have quite a bit of experience with it now, so I will have a separate video on this. And another thing too that you'll see me using in the videos is this right here. So this is an ultralight dark cloth from Wanderer, and it pairs very nicely with that camera. I'll do a review on this as well. Um, but any sort of weight savings is always good. And just as a reminder, one week from today is when the Death Valley series videos will start airing. And then there'll be one a week for, uh, there'll be seven of those videos so for seven weeks. And if you happen to be one of the people that is supporting me on Patreon, you will, our, you will already find the day one video posted for you guys. Uh, since you guys get it a little bit early. But I very much appreciate the support through Patreon, through PayPal. You guys are the reason why I am able to do this and why I'm able to show these videos and all this sort of stuff without ads, because I hate ads. I hate sponsorships. Hate's a strong word, but it just it's an interruption. It gets in the way of things. I think everyone finds it to be very annoying. So I'm extremely appreciative that you guys allow me to do this and that I'm in I'm able to, in return, share the videos and everything without the interruption of ads. Um, but very, very much appreciate that. And you'll find a link down below if you are inclined to help support me through uh, Patreon or through PayPal. You'll find links down below in the show notes. I very much do appreciate that. And we'll see you around next week in Death Valley uh, for, the, for the new series. So thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you around next time.